Hello everybody and today I'm going to show you exactly how to use MetaMask. So if you've never installed it, this is the video for you. And first of all, I'm going to show you how to use it on your desktop. So first things first, open up Google Chrome and then you need to head directly over to MetaMask.io. When we are there, you'll see that all of the information that you require immediately pops up. And in this instance, of course, we are hitting that download button. Once we hit that download button, you will see that it will take a second to load and it will then give us our supported browsers. Clearly this time I am working within Chrome, so I will want to install MetaMask for Google Chrome. Okay, let's install that right there by hitting that button. Very simple process so far. Hopefully you are following this very easily. This will take a second or two to load up depending on your internet speed. And then once you come in, you will be opening up exactly how you're going to add this extension in. It's worth noting that MetaMask on Google Chrome is added as an extension. So in this instance, once you see it coming up, you can see how many scores it's got. You can see how many downloads that it's got. It's got loads of downloads. We're simply going to add it into Google Chrome. It will then check it. It will then give you this option. Do you want to add it? The pop-up will appear in front of you, and then you need to click Add Extension. Once you've added that extension, it will continue its checks throughout the process and let you know when it's complete. As you can see, it was pretty quick. We are straight in. Now in my instance here, I'm using Google Chrome on my Mac, so it's very easy for me to see. Once it's embedded itself with your add-ons, you will see it's available here when you click the puzzle sign as an extension and you will see it all the time. But as we've just downloaded it for the first time and integrated it onto our Chrome, it will welcome you into its system. And I've got to say, the Fox is giving us a nice hello. So early, as easy as this, all we need to do is tap on Get Started, and then it will give us some kind of, I don't know, the bog standard, we will never do this, you will never do this. Of course, read this information, digest it, and see whether you agree with it. For me, in this instance, of course, I agree. Now, this is the key point. So if, if this is my first time ever using MetaMask, I am going to click Create New Wallet. Now, if it isn't, I am going to use Import Wallet. Now, it's very, very, very important that you have your seed phrase because when you import your wallet, that's simply what you enter. But for the means of this demonstration, I am going to create a new wallet. So all I need to do is click Create Wallet and then select a password. So in this instance, I'm going to create my password as Jamie Live Stream 123. Same again, Jamie Live Stream 123. Simple as that. Of course, feel free to read the terms of use. I've read them before, so of course I'm going to click create. Once I click create, it will then go straight through and it will show me a nice informational video of exactly how to secure my wallet. Now, I recommend that you read this, you have a watch of it and you fully digest the information that it provides. But for the purpose of this video, I am pressing next because I've watched it. Okay, this is very important. Your secret recovery phrase should never be shared with anybody. Now, this is incredibly important simply because anybody that has access to this can then go into your wallet and access it from any other device. Let's take it back a few steps. You can import wallets using this phrase. Remember that we could either create a new or import. Now, this is the code that allows you to do that. So in this instance, I'm going to click to reveal my secret words, but don't worry, I am not an idiot. This is a, you know, it's an account that I'm never going to use. So I'm at no risk of being scammed. Now you can see it will come up with 12 words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them down on a piece of paper and then I am going to integrate that into something that I need on you know another day. I recommend piece of pen and paper, you know, but it's not ideal. If you can store it somewhere that's ultra safe, then great, but write it down in several different places that only you know where it is or your spouse to keep it ultra safe because you know honestly we just never know. Once you've written them down, you need to press next. Be careful that there's not people around you, you know, seeing what you can see. And then once you've done that, it's very simple, this process. We then need to go in and then we, what we need to do is we need to create exactly what we have imported. So you'll see, remember the words, you'll remember the words that I had. I mean, I'm, I'm going to import them here. The first word that I had on my list was harsh. Then it was swear. Then it was science. Then it was sun. Then it was side, 
then it was invest, then it was acid, then it was tower, then it was fatigue, and then it was cousin, and then it was advice. Now, you will see that I have made a mistake, and that's absolutely fine. Once you do, you can literally just start this whole process again and go back. So for the piece of this, it's absolutely no problem. You don't need to stress. You can get it wrong. You can go straight back in. So I am going to, in this instance, harsh, blessed, swear, science, sun, side, invest. Oh, what's next? Let me have a look at my pad. Acid, <laughs> tower, fatigue, cousin advice. Now, as you can see, I've got them right in my order that I've got written down on my pad. Happy days. I can move this back across because there we go. Okay, so let's go. I have congratulations. You have passed the test and I have now secured my seed phrase. Now, just want to re-emphasize that point. Please keep it in several safe places that only you know. Don't store it on an electronic device. I'm naughty in this example I have and I will be deleting that straight away. Once you've done that, click all done. Make sure that you've definitely got that and it will open up your MetaMask wallet. Congratulations now, you have got your MetaMask wallet. So if you open a new browser on your Google Chrome, it'll take a second here because I've got a little bit of bad internet. Oh, it's, it's very simple now. When I want to access MetaMask, you know, and you can see him here on the homepage, I will click the extensions tab, then I'll click MetaMask and I am straight in to my account. You will see it, it's awesome. If you want to see it in the bigger view, very, very simple, expand view, and it will open up for you to be able to view it on the main page. If not, and you do just like the extension view, that's fine. But if you do want to go and buy and sell, then you will need to know that extension and make it your best friend. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you found this useful. In the next few videos, we're going to keep breaking down the educational process, and I hope you're finding this great. Thank you so much for viewing. Well done on opening up your MetaMask wallet. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.